There's a name that you should become more familiar with as we move on in this Republican majority in the House of Representatives, and that is James Comer, Republican of Kentucky. He is the chair of the House Oversight and Accountability Committee, an important spot, an important uh, committee assignment, especially for a chairman. He has colleagues who will join him valiantly in their fight to provide oversight in the Congress. Paul Gosar, avowed white nationalist. Lauren Boebert, high school dropout, multi-time fail, uh, failure at the GRE, or excuse me, the GED. Thinking of grad school stuff. And Marjorie Taylor Greene, prolific conspiracy theorist. QAnon adherent. They're also there with him. And James Comer, the reason I'm saying you're going to know his name more is because he's going to be making the rounds. The press is going to be asking him questions about what his agenda is. What do you plan to do as chairman of the House Oversight and Accountability Committee? And uh, you, I hope, will not be surprised to know that he even categorizes himself as just an average guy with average ability at best, he says. Watch this, and then we'll play some other clips, keeping this particular clip in mind as we move forward. And I'm just an average guy with average ability at best that's fed up with the process in Washington, D.C. I'm fed up with the public corruption. I'm fed up with the excessive spending, and I want to do something about it. And that's, that's my goal. Now, look, this could be true. He could be an average guy with average, average abilities at best. And some people might be happy with that. Some people may think, oh, we need more of a citizen's representative uh, segment of our country. It should be a citizen government. And I believe that to be true. But there's a certain skill set and intellect level that you should, um, just by virtue of qualification, not by some constitutional standard of whether or not you're able to run for office, but you should be adept at certain things. You shouldn't be just an average guy with average ability at best, especially when you're the chairman of the House Oversight and Accountability Committee wrangling the likes of Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar. Part of their, 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 their efforts in that committee will be investigating, obviously by the name of the committee, government oversight. And he vows not to be uh, uh, investigating Donald Trump, but, and the reason he gives flies in the face of the reason that he's actually going to be investigating Joe Biden. It all doesn't make any sense. I don't expect anybody to expect it to make sense coming from James Comer, Republican of Kentucky. Watch this. With respect to Trump, you know, a lot of the media, I, I went on, I love Pam Brown and our, our friend. She's from Kentucky. I went on CNN last night, her last night of that show. Uh, she says, well, you know, you, why aren't you investigating Trump's mishandling of documents? Well, there's a special counsel. There's a special counsel, and I'm confident that special counsel is looking into everything. On well, Trump. And Trump's been investigated for six with, years. With Biden documents, although it sounds like you are yeah. planning on asking the national, so you are asking questions about Trump's documents, what was in them, how they got there. I, I, I want. I, I'm going to try to explain this as best I can. We're investigating the Biden family for influence peddling. We learned that they have classified documents in multiple locations. We are concerned, is that part of the influence peddling? I don't know. Just an average guy with average ability at best. He can't even keep his nonsense straight. He's not, you heard him, not investigating Donald Trump because there's been assigned a special counsel. But he is investigating Biden for the thing he's not investing, investigating Trump for, even though... There's also been an, a special counsel appointed in the Biden case. And then he's like, oh, let me pause here and try to gather my thoughts. Uh, let me uh, try to explain this as best I can now that I got myself in this pickle. I'm just an average guy with average ability and intellect at best.
Emily, I believe that was what her name was, questioning him there. And then when she presses him a little bit further about other things that maybe he should be investigating, like what took place in Memphis with Tyree Nichols, he just says, well, it hasn't really crossed my mind. I haven't even thought about that. Because Joe Biden, it's a five alarm fire because Joe Biden has volunteered that they found classified information. He wasn't hoarding it. He didn't abscond with it. As soon as they found out, they, they, they spilled the beans on themselves. But that needs investigated. Not rampant, systemic police abuse of American citizens. Unarmed American citizens. Watch this stupid, stupid moment. I encourage Jim to work with me on, on the stuff that we're looking into in oversight. I stay out of his business in judiciary. Okay, so you don't think it's necessarily something you should be looking I, I, into? I haven't even thought about it, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I was asked about it. It's a terrible thing. Uh, certainly, there are bad apples in, in every profession, bad politicians, bad police officers, uh, and they need to be held accountable. So I'm, I'm confident those police officers are going to be held accountable. He's confident they're going to be held accountable, but not by him, not by Congress, not by the chairman of a very powerful committee with, with it, so much in its purview. There's bad apples everywhere. Look, I'm just an average guy with, with sub-average abilities, y'all. Why would I look at that? Bad apples. What horrible luck for Tyree Nichols that every single armed agent of the state that responded to, to, to uh, address him under the authority and the color of law, what bad luck that every single one of those cops happened to be one of the bad apples. Or is it more likely that the, the epidemic of bad appledom in policing in America is far more advanced than many people would like to believe. And this is a member of Congress who could do something about it, but instead, he's just an average guy with an average skill set.